If I've done something to you, just tell me what I've done to you. I just don't like you no more. Have you been rowing? Have you been rowing? Have we been rowing? Well, you are rowing. It does look like we're rowing. You can't just stop being friends with a fella. He's dull, Siobhan. But he's always been dull. Maybe this whole thing has just been about getting you to stand up for yourself. Oh, you fatty. Dancing with your dog, is it? What did you come here for? I just came to kick your door in and give you a slagging. Um, I, I just have to say, I mean, I don't get a chance to talk to Martin, but he is one of my most favorite filmmakers. He is just... He's such an exquisite storyteller. I, I just want to, I mean, I'm, you're the only one I could talk to about him, but can you, uh, you've been working with him for a while now. So can you tell me sort of his process and where he comes up with these beautiful stories? I don't know. Do you know, I ask him that so many times because when I'm talking to him, it seems like a different person. I feel like he's got somebody trapped in his house that actually writes the movies. <laughs> and then he just pretends he's the person who wrote them because I feel like, I don't know. I ask him that so many times um, where where it comes from. And it's just so, um, a, I guess, a private process that, I, you know, that I, I, I think he'll keep private. So I don't know. I do think, though, that I was very thrilled when I read that it was going to be an Irish um, movie because I feel like the Irish plays were so incredible that he wrote at the very beginning of his career. And it always made me think like when he was starting to do movies, it was like, oh, I wish people would read the plays. Like the plays are amazing. <laughs> and so it was just great to think that this was very similar to one of his plays, but a movie. So I knew like a lot of people would get access to that because I, I really think he was just so good at that. So good at the dialogue and, and Irish characters. They feel so real to me. Right. I mean, he created such a universe with this little small town, you know, um, well, I mean, what's what's the process like making the films with him? Is he very open to your, you know, your suggestions and all of that? Um, so I suppose with with these characters, with these Irish characters that I have done for him, they they feel to me anyways quite similar to like there's parts of me in them, I feel. Then when I said that to him the other day, he was like, uh, no, they're not. And I'm thinking, yeah, they are. <laughs> Because I'm an Irish person, so it can't be that bloody far for me. But I suppose, um, you know, I, I kind of, because I was so young when I started doing them, um, I, I really had no training when I started to do the plays. So I really was just going on my instinct of what I think it would, I would feel like. And so I still kind of work that way with him. And so I just kind of go with my instinct and then he sort of fine tunes whatever I did and whatever physicality that I did, if he wants it or if he doesn't want it or if he wants it in a particular line or something, he just sort of really um, fixes everything kind of perfectly with lots of notes and then right. you just do it very naturally. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you being able to do something in your home, in your home, uh, you know, because you're Absolutely. always playing Americans or British or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's so nice. I know. Also, um, Colin Farrell is just a, he's just a marvel in this. So can you talk a little bit about working with him too? Yeah, so this wasn't my first time working with Colin, but I had worked with him before. It was super short, like, and it was years ago. Jesus Christ, it was like, I think it was in my 20s or something. I can barely remember it. So, um, so what it was like working with him, we did the scenes in the house together for the first three weeks of the shoot. So it was just me and him and Martin and all the crew, obviously, but just the two of us as actors in the house for the first three weeks, which had really made it kind of, we started off on an easy note because it was, we were able to, in the mornings, had this little routine. We'd have to get ready in these tents because we were kind of in the middle of nowhere and we'd run our lines like three times together. And he, we were, he was just very good at, you know, we were very generous to each other for our off camera stuff. If I wasn't on camera and it was his close up, we would both do it as, as good for each other right. um, to make, a, you know, help each other. It felt very um like we both wanted each other to be great in it. It didn't feel like a competitive or right. you know, any environment like that. He's also a very kind person to everybody um, on the crew and puts everybody at ease. So uh, very approachable and, and it didn't feel like 
sometimes if you work with somebody very famous, there you kind of know when they're on set because they're just there's this ripple effect of like the famous person has arrived or whatever. <laughs> But Colin is just very um, sweet and approachable and not very affected. So it just made it all very easy, um, easy to be around. Right. Yeah. One last question. I just, uh, you know, because this film definitely, I walked out of the film and I was in the elevator with a bunch of people and I said, I need a feckin' drunk at a, a pub <laughs> right now. And they all just started laughing. <laughs> But um, what what are you what is your feelings of this film and what do you hope you know people will take away with it? Well, I suppose the initial feeling like for me is, you know, I, I know it's open to interpretation a little bit at the end or you can kind of think about what happens to them after the end of it. But I personally think that Parig is forever changed and I, I don't think there's any going back. And I, and I wonder, will he just be um, a lonely man on his own, you know, with the with the animals in the house kind of going a bit mad forever, really, you know, Um. But that, that's kind of what I think. But I do hope people kind of take away an aspect of that, you know, the, this, the animals and the nature side of it, to me, felt super spiritual mm -hmm. and beautiful and pure. And it's interesting that it's Jenny that's the one that turns Porrick. It's not Siobhan or it's not losing column. It's Jenny. And that, yeah. that, that, that is the one that changes him. And so I hope that people will take away, you know, some sort of a notion that, you know, it seems so silly to be bickering and fighting, you know, when animals seem so present and, and evolved and great, you know, pr calm in their surroundings and and godlike kind of creatures. And I think maybe if people are be a little bit more influenced by nature, maybe and the, and the spiritual side of life that maybe you mightn't be so petty, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's just a beautiful film. Congratulations on this. And also, I loved you in Rome. We watch hey! Rome. We watch Rome once a year. No. <laughs> oh, Do you yeah, know I've husband. never seen Rome? Can you believe that? I know, but I start naked in the whole fucking thing. I don't want to see this. <laughs> I don't want to be reminded. Oh my god, it's the best. Anyway, it's so good and I love doing it. I had a great time doing it. It was such an amazing experience. I'm so glad you like it. Thank oh my God, it's much. the best. Well, thank you very much. It was really nice to meet you and, and take care and congratulations again. Thanks a It's about one boring man leaving another man alone. One boring man. You're all fucking boring. Let's just call it quits. We won't call it quits. We'll call it the start.